Huzzah! And welcome to Beefy Time! I'm Beefy by name and nature and welcome to This Week in Comics! So yes, I know that Secret Empire was in last week's TWIC. That's This Week in Comics for the casual viewer. Shout out to all the OG. But it's not my bloody fault that Marvel decides to release the penultimate issue a week before the finale. So yeah, to echo the sentiment of last week, it's basically a great event if you've been with Marvel for a while. If you're a newcomer, then you'll feel a little bit alienated, but it's been a fantastic event regardless. Nick Spencer has got to tell the story that he wanted to tell ever since Captain America uttered the words, Hail Hydra. So for any comic readers that have been living under a rock, Saga is basically a cross between Game of Thrones, Star Wars and Romeo and Juliet, which sounds like it sounds like it wouldn't work, but it somehow just fits into place. But honestly, that's the closest you're ever going to get to a proper description from anyone. It follows the story of two lovers from different species and they end up having a hybrid child together and the whole story is told from the child's point of view. I'll, I'll probably do a You Should Be Reading on this, actually no, I, you know what, I definitely will in the, in the next couple weeks I'll do one just to kind of like just run down not everything that's happened because I don't want to spoil too much but honestly it's such a, a deep rich story and you care so much about all different types of characters. Like my, my favourite thing to ever come out of Saga is Lion Cat. Lion Cat is just... It, so she can say, she's a feline that can only say one word. She's this giant, giant cat that can only say one word and it's lying. And it's whenever someone's lying around it. It sounds very simple, but it's amazing. And she's responsible for one of the most beautiful moments in comics ever. Like a, a, a single manly tear went down my face. And as much as I would recommend it, it's quite unfortunate that we're so deep in. It's issue 46 this week. And it's not like you can kind of just jump in at any point. It's all, it all stems from the very, very start. And it's a shame because it means that you're, you're gonna have to invest in this. You're gonna have to wanna read, like, uh, if you wanna get the trades, it'd be like, there's gotta be like five by now, maybe, probably, probably more than that, I'd say about seven. But the story is worth it, honestly, like 100% worth it. So it's bloody annual week for DC. I mean, I love annuals because it gives new comic creators a chance to break in. It means that these people get a chance to have their name on something that is well known. And that's fantastic, that's great. It's not great for me because I find it hard to care about a story that will start and finish within one tiny little 33 page book. So instead, I'm gonna talk about Star Wars this week. This comic is written by none other than my man, my dude, Jason Aaron and there couldn't be anyone more perfect to pen this. So not last issue, but the issue before, we just came off a massive storyline, a massive story arc, and we're kind of at a, a slower pace at the moment. It's a it's a little insight into how, I think it's Lando and Leia, uh, and Han and Chewie. I should really remember this because it was only a couple weeks ago in the last one. But basically it's a, it's a smaller, a much smaller scale adventure which is quite nice from time to time because you have all these massive events, you've got all your secret empires and rebirths and well that wasn't really an event, but you've got all these massive things going on and sometimes it's nice just to get something, a couple issues in a little tiny story. I know that kind of contradicts what I say about annuals, but annuals are a bit different because you can't really tell a story in one book. Whereas if you have a story that spans over a couple, then you at least have some sort of story structure, if that makes sense. It does in my head. But yeah, this is issue 35 and this follows the misadventures of Han and Chewie and they are doing something something with a hut. I don't really remember if I'm totally honest. But honestly, the series has been solid, like super, super solid so far. It's done incredible justice to the Star Wars franchise and I seriously recommend you pick this up. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a cheeky like. If you disliked it, then a dislike is welcome. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, stay handsome, you lot. Peace.